go on a boat, Diesel? Are you excited to go on a boat? I am. There's the boat right there in the background. You see it way back there behind all the trucks, behind the poles, way back there. There's two. One of those we will be boarding shortly. We've been here since like supper time yesterday and it is close to noon here now and it's almost time to board. They've been loading up uh, just trailers first. They have a couple of shunt trucks that bring just trailers on there and then shunt trucks on Newfoundland Island go in there and take them off, right? So they don't have tractors uh, attached to them. But for guys like me, we're just waiting in line here. All those guys there. It's actually not that full here right now. This guy right here beside me. And uh, there's a ton of trucks behind me yet. So, it's exciting. We are leaving North Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada, and we will be heading over the ocean to Porto Basque, Newfoundland. It's ferry time. Okay, so we got that little guy out there waving us in. You guys ready for this? I'm excited. Diesel, you excited? Oh, nice lady. She's smiling. I think she's smiling at you, Diesel. <laughs> Women don't usually smile at me like that. my shipboarding music. Hey, maybe they'll blow the horn. Maybe, maybe not. Am I going too slow? They're all waving at me like I'm going too slow. I'm excited, people. Look at that, there's the boat. Oh, we're not going on the new, new one. We're going on the sort of new one. Oh, it's newer than the one we were on last time, at least. Cool. Going on a boat! Ow! Ow! Bumpy! Another lady, she's smiling. Why are people so happy here? <laughs> Check it out! Diesel! What in the world? We're going on a boat! We're officially on a boat. Or is it a ship? Oh. Oh, we're gonna be right in the front. Right there. <laughs> There's someone standing out there. How many people they got directing people in here? I don't wanna run over your toes, good friend. Wow, we're like one of the very first people to board. I think I'm going too slow. They keep waving at me like frantically. Hurry up, hurry up. We need to go. Cool, eh, Diesel? <laughs> I'm not sure about this, man. Wow, they want me to be like really close to these people. Wow, that mirror got really close. There we go. So we're gonna be the first off, or one of the first off. Right there. We're on a boat. Diesel, we're on a boat. We're on a boat, man. We're on a boat. We're floating. <laughs> I like boats. So it's full in here. Really full. <laughs> Hey, 
they got a whole ton of trucks. I don't know why they didn't fill this spot. I guess they're uh, for weight distribution reasons. I gotta get to the elevator. Gotta get to the elevator. I gotta get to the elevator. I'm like the only one down here. Is that a good thing? That makes me nervous. Just gonna squeeze past these posts. So I don't know how much weight these boats carry, but the inside is very nice, but it's packed with people. So yeah, this is the cabin here. Sleeper berth, as they would say. It's got four beds, these fold down. I don't know how four people would fit in here. It's got a little work table here with a cute little chair. Radio, I guess, and outlet, and it also works for European outlets, it looks like. TV. I'm not gonna be in here much. I just wanted this room for the shower. This is the bathroom. Very small as well. I met my roommate. He's from Montreal. Very nice guy. So that's good. I'm always worried that I'm going to get, you know, like a jerk. But he's a very nice guy. I think there's just two of us in here. And I assume that he picked this bed because it's already been made. So I just put my stuff on that bed there. I'm not going to be in here much anyways unless I get really tired. Diesel has to stay in the truck. He does. I'm not very happy about that either, but that's the only option they allow on this boat. And he's warm in there. I left the bunk heater on for him. He's got food. He's got water. He's got like two beds to sleep on. One in the front, one in the back. Or the floor. He's got three options. He's got everything he needs in there. And uh, halfway through the trip, I'll ask to be escorted down there to go check on him in a few hours. So he's been alone for a lot longer than this, so he'll be fine they wouldn't let me stay in the truck with him. That was my first thing. I said, well, I'll just stay in the truck. They said, no, they can't let me stay in the truck and they can't let him up here. So, <sighs> kind of frustrated. It's a very not pet friendly operation situation they got going on here. But what can you do? In the end, he'll be fine, right? He'll be just fine. So I'll give him a good treat and a good bone when I get back to the yard. When I get back to the yard, when I get back to the truck. Sorry, I'll reward him. And I'll go check on him in a bit. But other than that, I'm going to take a shower because I smell like a trucker. Something's making noises over here. Creepy. Ghost ship. And then uh, I will see if I'm allowed to film around here. If I am allowed to film, I'll show you around. But uh, they may have a no filming policy. Just because, you know, there's a lot of people on this boat. And I'm sure... I don't know. It might make people uncomfortable. Usually I don't care. I just feel them anyway. Free country! You know. But I'll ask around. Anyways, I really need a shower, so I'm not putting this off anymore.
bikes. Apparently the ocean's frozen. Didn't think it froze. Wasn't that fun, Diesel? A boat ride! Good boy, I heard you were a very, very good boy. I heard you made friends down here. Yeah! All the workers that work below level here uh, were complimenting me on Diesel, saying he was such a good boy. Yeah, good boy, Diesel. You were guarding my truck good, yet you were being friendly at the same time. You are the boss, man. Good boy. That's the ferry ride one way, guys. So in a few days time, we'll be taking the ferry the other way. How about that? Right now, we're gonna find a place to park uh, nearby, not too far onto the island spend the night and tomorrow we begin delivering. We have three okay. drops. Three drops on the island. Let's see where this person leads me to. Show me the way, Captain. That way. All right. Drive 477 kilometers. through here and up the hill. That's what I got from that sign language message. Well, what an exciting day this has been. Hey, Diesel, how do you sit up here in the light? Get in the light, bud. People can't see you there. Yeah, good boy, now sit. Now sit. Perfect. Oh, hold that. Like a star. Perfect, Diesel. Good show. Good show, lad. So we're uh, on the rock. That is what they call Newfoundland, because it's one big rock. There's barely any dirt here, it's just rock. <laughs> there's some trees growing, but there's just a lot of rock. And a lot of moose, I haven't seen one yet, but I hear there's more moose than people. So I'm waiting to see one. I hope I see a really big one with really big antlers, but not in front of my truck. Preferably way in the field somewhere or when I'm parked walking across the parking lot that would be epic I can get it on camera hey Diesel a big fat moose I know you'd chase it if I'd let you <laughs> hope you look up at the camera buddy now and then you look so sad whenever you're on camera then people think you're sad and depressed are you depressed <laughs> only on camera yeah, Diesel, uh, the camera makes Diesel nervous. Uh, I have to work with him a little bit because I think that he doesn't know what it is. He might think that it's a bad thing when I'm holding this camera in his face. So it seems anyways, because he's usually a very lively, very happy, bouncing off the walls kind of dog. Ask anyone who's actually met him. Uh, Abe, Jade and John, Jerry, Linda. Those are the big YouTubers that have met him. And they would say, yeah, Diesel's just a party but just on camera he seems to be very shy so don't get the wrong impression of him he's not depressed at all he's just camera shy something about the camera and the red light isn't flashing so that's not tripping him out I'll figure it out yet maybe he's just tired whenever I do my videos look at him are you tired it was a long boat ride 
That boat ride was intense. There was so much ice out on the ocean, the ship was acting like an icebreaker. It was so noisy, ice banging off the hull or whatever you call it. Jeez, I thought that we were gonna pull a Titanic and sink. Like seriously, the whole ship was just shaking around like that, breaking through the ice. The ice was like at least two feet thick and it was just nuts. I hope some of that video turned out for you guys. Anyways, I'm gonna cut it here. Have a good day. I will see you tomorrow, 6 a.m. Central Time for a drive through Newfoundland. Don't forget to tune in.